In October 2012, Uprising launched the Emerging Leaders Network, a group of over 300 young, talented, diverse and committed young people who exemplify the values Britons want in their leaders. All are graduates of the Uprising Leadership Programme and have demonstrated an ongoing commitment to positive social change. For me, the Emerging Leaders Network is about identifying people who are going to make a difference in the future. Organisations like Uprising putting together the Emerging Leaders Network is a great opportunity for the business leaders and politicians to meet influential young people. It's creating cohorts of leaders and we know that leadership is never done by one individual and particularly the type of leadership we're talking about here, the kind of change that these, these people are articulating, these young people want to make. That's only done by groups of people doing it together across sectors, across communities. If you've got talent, if you've got aspiration, if you've got commitment, if you've got a good idea about how you can make a difference to your community, then you will get backup, you will get support, you will get networks. Okay, I think the biggest issue that faces us at the moment is the nature of it. It's been a great day so far. We've heard from quite a few speakers on a a variety of topics which is really good and it's been a great chance to network with people from the network from Birmingham and Bedford and London. What really I think came across from all of the panellists was that um, a lot of the you know the network itself puts a lot of things in our power and it's about how we respond to that that's really important. The old school style of leadership is not working and it's about time we we have change and this is one way of creating change by creating a, a diverse leadership structure. So as a result of that, there's been a concentration of culture. The government is so disconnected from the policy. Being a member of the Emerging Leaders Network is it's like a feather in a cap. It feels really good, you feel a sense of pride. Um, it gives you confidence in your direction and what you're doing and the things that you care about. I think it's also giving young people the, the voice and opportunity to be in charge of, um, of their future. We get to create new, new uh, networks so that, that opens more opportunities, opens more doors for employment, for business ideas. There's a lot of talented people in the, the network and I think in 30 years time I can easily picture um, a lot of these people in positions of power um, but giving back to the community and working together with the networks that have created to create that change. There's a sense of challenge now, so we're all here today and we've done great stuff individually in our social action projects and locally, but now we're going to try and think bigger, um, try and think about what impact we can have um, across the country and in our cities, um, in politics and the media and business, uh, and, and think about how we as a group can, can make those differences. So I guess it's a, it's a, a moment of, um, of questioning, it's a moment of uh, discussion, and it's a moment of uh, ambition.